this is in the pool. I'm not too sure if it's a real coral snake or a false coral snake. First time I see that color. Normally you see white one. Well, you have two of them, right? One is venomous and the other one is not venomous. I wouldn't take any chance until we get it identified properly. All right, so it's a small coral. The Mercurius sisonalis. They don't typically bite people. We need to give an estimate, but they can. I know they can kill a small child. Yeah. Serious? You step back. Right. You step back. Okay, it's more so they, would be, they would be able to bite a child because they usually bite between the webbing of the fingers. Yeah. Oh. So. It's hard for them to get to that on a, So these on a, are all in the chorus, so you just never see them when you walk in the chorus. Yeah. So it's so small. It's so small. What's the other poisonous one other than the coral? Well, they're venomous, and that would be there's another coral. A large coral that gets about four feet long. Yes. And there's two vipers, being the Bushmaster and the Mapapi Bauchi. Right. Alright, so let's come back and get this space. Now, what does the law say about this, right? Because, I mean, it's in the pool, it's private property. property. Is it protected or not? No, it isn't protected. It's a vermin on private property. Vermin? But only on private property. Yep. So if we were out in the bush somewhere, jungle, state land, mm. could you kill it on state land? No. No. Hmm. That's against the law. These just roam around. They usually feed on small lizards, other snakes, and frogs. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The colors? Red to black venom black and I think red and, uh, red and yellow is killer fellow. Killer yeah. fellow. Yeah. Yeah. But I try not to remember. But that's, that's I in know. <laughs> yeah. But in Trinidad red and yellow it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. So yeah. in Trinidad, we should not use that ring. No. no that could get you hurt, right? Yeah. Yeah.